Good morning. It's day 44. I think yesterday I was just very in a weird mood. So I think that was what was preventing me from like just figuring out iMovie because now that I slept a lot last night and woke up and it's a new day. While I'm trying to edit yesterday's vlog, I'm noticing like now it seems a lot more simpler to use. It's just that I think yesterday I was overwhelmed at a bunch of different reasons. So it was kind of like a mental block was preventing me from figuring this out. Of course, I'm going to have to look up some things online that I learned how to do on the other one, and I'm going to have to get used to the format, but I think I can get used to this pretty quickly. So now that I'm over my little bratty mood that I was in yesterday, uh, how's your day going? I'm stuck in the house today because Geo's homesick, so I can't really go out and do anything. My vaporizer is coming in the mail today from Hawaii. It only took four days. My camera, I ordered it from Florida, and it took eight. Hawaii, which is an island in the middle of the ocean, all the way to New York in four days. That's pretty incredible to me. The only bad news is I don't have any juice for it. And because Geo's here, I can't go out till 2.30 until Lexi comes home to the vapor shop up the road. I'm having a, I'm having quite the battle with YouTube right now. It won't let me upload my video. I think it has something to do with the new iMovie. It saves as an MP4 instead of a MOV or whatever file. So, I hope it's not because of that, because it'll upload the whole way, and then the processing, it just doesn't pass zero. This is the third time uploading, and it doesn't work. Keep having the same problem. This is the third time I've done this. It keeps uploading to 100%, and then it goes into the processing phase. It stays at zero. I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to figure this out, because today's video should have been up, like, four hours ago. If anyone, if anyone knows anything about what... That means that's never popped up on the video. I edited it the same way, and uh, it just seems to be giving me a bunch of different issues. Here it is. Can't see my address, but I guess I'll open it now and do a quick unboxing. I just got my new uh, vaporizer pen. Uh, it's by Aspire. Hopefully this will help me quit smoking or make it at least a little bit easier. I chose to go with the Aspire Nautilus Mini. Looks like this. Well, it's definitely nice packaging. Let me read the manual, you know, because I'm usually don't do those things. Uh, let me read the manual and then I'll get back to you with some information and show you how it works. The first thing you have to do to fill it up with your juices is right there, there's a little screw thing. It unscrews. This is the battery part that needs to get charged. Oh, crap. See what happens? So you're left with this. Then, apparently you just give this a twist. Feels like I'm gonna break it, so hopefully I'm not. Cause this is, uh, that's pretty tight. Okay, so these two pieces come off and you fill your juices up in this area. Um, I'm waiting for Angela to bring juice from the vape shop next to her job because I'm home with Geo, so I cannot go pick it up myself. The flavor I chose to go with is, um, it's called Blue Mountain Freeze. It supposedly tastes exactly like Baja Blast from um, Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. So I'm going to try that out as soon as she gets home, and I'll let you know how it tastes. It comes with this little charging port and USB, so you can pretty much plug it in anywhere nowadays. As a bonus, it comes with three extra coil, uh, five extra coils. So these things are like 3 to $5 each, so... I guess that's a pretty good value. The vape shop by us wanted $100, so I bought this online for $64, everything included. Shipped from Hawaii in four days. And the juice is in. They were right. This does taste exactly like Baja Blast from um, Mountain Dew and Taco Bell. So here goes nothing. It's crazy. This literally tastes like this. Like I just took a sip of soda. Hmm. I like it. One step closer to a healthier lifestyle. If you plan on quitting smoking, I suggest, highly suggest, you get one of these. I've been smoking on this for three and a half hours, here and there, not like, you know, full every five seconds. And 
I have not had one crave for a cigarette and that that is crazy because I I mean this comes with a little bit of nicotine in it and then you can go down levels to wean yourself off and then you can get all ones that are completely healthy and natural and just like vegetable glycerin or something like that that it's not harmful there's no bad chemicals in it and I'm a pack and a half sometimes two pack a day smoker so this is crazy good and I highly recommend if you want to quit smoking you start with one of these things because I thought I would never be able to quit. I'm, you know, I love smoking so much. I love the habit. I love, you know, blowing out smoke. This is like crystal clear smoke. It tastes good. It feels good. I like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's amazing. So right now it is hour five without a cigarette and I still really don't have a craving. I bought packs just in case because I figured, you know, this is my first time doing this. I'm not just going to be able to quit cold turkey with by using this little freaking device. But, um, yeah, honestly, I can say that I don't really have a craving for a cigarette right now. I mean, I guess, like I said, it's because there's some nicotine in here, so maybe that's... But I'm so used to smoking cigarettes, I thought that it wouldn't be this easy. Don't by any means get me wrong and think that I'm trying to say like smoking is cool because it's not. It's it's a terrible habit. Even if you do it with these things. If there are kids out there watching, please don't, don't even pick up cigarettes because I was told the same thing when I was younger and I thought it looked so cool and you know I hear people don't even smoke cigarettes and they start these which I don't really get the point of because if I'm using this to quit and it might become a hobby because I'm so used to it but if you don't smoke cigarettes there's no need that I don't even think that you need one of these because what's the point but if this can kick my cigarettes then it's totally worth it I don't ever think I told you this but I am also not playing the guitar baby lock them doors and turn them lights down low you want to hear how messed up Angela's kids are Giovanni doesn't like pizza and Lexi doesn't like cheese. Uh, I don't know if I could trust a person that doesn't like pizza. I'm surprised there's people that smoke 40, 50 years. Holy shit. Because now that this is out here vaporizing and I see how big of an impact it's made on a bunch of people, it's like the newest thing. It's not just a, it's not just a way to quit smoking. It's a hobby. It's opening jobs up all around the country because these vapor shops are going crazy. The one thing good I think that'll come out of this is you know, 20, 30 years down the line, maybe, I think vaporizing will be the smoking of the future, which is way, well, which is a way healthier way to think about it. For a long time, smoking has been the norm, but now that vaporizing is becoming a norm, you know, I, I'm, I can only wait and see what they come out with this stuff, because it's just going to make it, they're going to make it healthier and healthier and more efficient and better, and the smoking companies won't be able to keep up with it, because people right now like smoking, but as the new generations go on, they're going to have these other options.